apologies for the clickbait YouTube thumbnail. That 3D render is where I want to be in a few weeks, but before we can get to that design phase, we need to build the guts. And that's what this is here. It's just my breadboard for the touch capacitive pickup switching system. I'm referring to this as phase one. So this is the breadboard phase and it's a huge giant mess. But the good thing is this is all off the shelf components. So you could easily build one of these right now and stuff it into the control cavity of a guitar and it will switch your pickups for you just by using or touching something conductive. Let's take a look at this real quick. The first sort of major component is the Arduino Nano. And this is a really tiny microcontroller. There's already quite a few people putting microcontrollers in their guitars to essentially control their LEDs. And this just gives us one more use out of the microcontroller, which is not really doing much, right, when it's controlling LEDs. So you have a lot of processing power there to do other things if you wanted to. And this could be one of them. And the next component is the Adafruit MPR121. This is a little breakout module that's handling all the touch sensitivity and threshold settings. So instead of using the microcontroller's analog inputs to handle touch, we're using the breakout board. And it just is so much easier. Now I have an off-the-shelf relay here. And I want to call it a dual relay, but I'm not really sure what it is. It just it has two common ports and two normally open and two normally closed ports and it works my quick little schematic here i'm using this kind of backwards so com one goes to the neck hot com two goes to the bridge hot you have the normally closed one normally open two going to the jack hot normally open one normally closed two going to ground so the idea is as the switch there's always going to be one pickup going to the jack and the other going to ground. And that's kind of important so that we can keep everything nice and quiet, right? We want to essentially just short the pickup that's not being switched to. So I have some LEDs here, but these are just for reference. So when I touch this wire, blue LED goes off. When I touch the yellow, yellow LED goes off. There's also a green one, but it's not being used. Really, there's just two states. Um, set the pin high, set the pin low, right? So when I set the pin high, the relay goes on. When I set the pin low, relay goes off, and it's just switching between two states. So let's listen to it. I have a tiny little test amp here. Turn it on. Make sure none of these wires are touching anything. So right now, surely you can hear that. It's just this bridge pickup on. And this one's off. So when I switch, this one's off, and this one's on. See? And all I'm doing is touching with my fingers these wires. See? And you can use anything that's conductive. Just an example. I have a $1 from 1974, and it works, so I'm just using that, and it's turning it off and on. But you can use anything that's conductive. You could use, uh, for example, fruit. So if I did that, switches it on, switches it off. So anything that's conductive. Now obviously, when we're going to be building our guitars, we don't want to use fruit, right? We want to use something cool. So there's all these great ideas that we can do. Um, for example, I keep thinking about like copper inlay where that switch would be and how interesting we could make that inlay and it would serve a purpose. You would touch it and it would do something. But I'm also thinking about things like the natural artifacts in the wood. So if you think about uh, a knot, for instance, and you filled that knot with like molten aluminum, that could be a switch. But you don't actually have to use metal either you can set the threshold really high so that even when you get close to it, it'll activate the switch. Meaning you could have something conductive under the wood with a thin piece of like, let's say three mil top, and it would just be wood and you would touch a spot on the guitar and it would activate it. So there's lots of possibilities, but before we can get there, we need to 
work this all out. So the whole idea is trying to come up with a new designed vocabulary for guitar construction. Our designed vocabulary today comes from the car culture of the 1950s and the surf culture of the 1960s. And all we're really trying to do is develop a new design vocabulary. And those 3D renders, we can't build anything like that today because we're still using actuated mechanical switches. But we can let our imaginations run wild if we have some type of technology to allow us to design a certain way. And that's what this phase one is about. So phase two is we're going to get this off the breadboard and put this into some kind of little package that'll fit inside a control cavity. And the way we're gonna do that is we're going to essentially move away from Arduino. And we're gonna use the Adafruit Feather ecosystem. And we'll get to that in phase two. But for now, let me just say that all of this is gonna be available to you. So I'll have a drawing layout, nice and neat, of what, how this is wired, the Arduino code, and a part list of the three components that I'm using. Literally, it's three components. Three, microcontroller, breakout touch sensitivity board, and a relay. The rest of this is just alligator clips, right? So all of this will be available you can start building your own, if you wanted to. I'll dump all this in a Discord. And I would recommend pursuing this, taking it into other directions, and also correcting some of the stuff that might be wrong. I mean, I just came up with this because it worked and it made sense, but I'm using it backwards. I haven't tested this out in a real world scenario, so I don't know if there's gonna be ground issues. The other thing I'm kind of concerned about is there's essentially two grounds, right? They have the ground from the audio, right? From the jack and the pickups. And then you have the data and power ground from the microcontroller and the relays and the board. So should they be one ground? Can they be separate grounds? Am I creating ground loops? I don't know. This is something that we still have to work out. But in any case, I'm still gonna go through with this no matter if there's noise or not. And phase two is going to be the Adafruit ecosystem for feathers. So I'm going to replace the microcontroller with the feather board. I'm going to replace the relay with a feather wing. They're going to stack on top of each other. It's going to be nice and neat and pretty. And then we're going to remove this USB cord right here. And replace it with a lithium battery that's rechargeable. And the beautiful thing about the feather boards is that the lithium battery is going to fit in between the board and the relay and it'll have a port to charge the lithium battery and there's no extra coding involved you just plug it in it charges take it out it's running so it's gonna be super easy to charge the battery while it's in the guitar all right so phase two will be the out of fruit and we'll do an unboxing of that and start building that out but for now take this and run with it take it easy <laughs>